Hello, today we're going to talk about the history of Treehouse Brewing Company, from their humble beginnings to their explosive growth and to where they are today. I'm Mike from Grab a Pint With, and make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I have some interesting Treehouse trivia. Now, let's crack a cold one and enjoy the show. Their story starts back in 2008. 70 miles west of Boston in a small country town of Ware, Massachusetts. A group of friends, Nate, Damien, and Dean, would hang out on the weekends playing music and brewing beer. And in 2011, Damien purchased a property in Brimfield with a perfect 600 square foot barn. He had planned to use this space for working on Harleys and Jeeps. But instead, he chose to let Nate bring the brewery into the barn. This allowed Nate's weekend obsession to quickly turn into a full-fledged seven days a week obsession. He started making beer that was as enjoyable as anything he could buy. In a few of the early recipes like Julius, Green, and Eureka had become some of his very favorite beers. As the project picked up steam, they had several friends enjoying the fruits of their labor for free. But with all the equipment and raw materials, they were a nearly five-figure self-funded operation. When it was time to put down the name of the company on the LLC, it was simple. Sitting on the property was a beautiful treehouse. And Damien's father is the one who designed the logo that we all know so well. When Treehouse opened their doors to the public, they had several customers show up. In the following weekend, it doubled and it's been multiplying basically ever since. Nate brewed almost 600 batches in six months. It wasn't easy and eventually Treehouse upgraded to a five barrel. Growing too fast, they couldn't keep up with only a dozen parking spots on the property. One neighbor in particular disapproved and a zoning dispute went before the town. Treehouse tried suing because they were approved earlier by the building inspector and planning board. The town ruled against Treehouse, forcing them to close. In 2013, Treehouse moved to Munson, where Damien's wife Kim, whose family owned a sizable farm, Corin Farm, was the next step for the brewery. When they moved, they upgraded to a 30 barrel brew house. Things began to change for the company. They became so popular, they had to set limits of three growlers per person. It took on average about two hours waiting in line to get the beers. Treehouse wanted to only give out so much to each person to spread the beer around. The brewery was operated in a somewhat crammed space in the farm's stand, with a small retail store in the shed. During this period, the tiny brewery, making 150 gallons at a time, was ranked 55th best beer in the world. In 2014, they moved across the street, which expanded the brewery's capacity sixfold, from an operation capable of producing about 150 gallons of beer at a time, to one capable of producing about 900 gallons of beer at a time including a tap room, which was able to pour drafts on site on occasion. In 2017, Treehouse moved to Charlton, breaking ground on its third home in an $18.5 million brewery and retail setup. Since moving there, their production has continued to skyrocket. 20,000 barrels in 2017, 45,000 barrels in 2018, and 60,000 barrels in 2019. Charlton Building sits on 75 beautiful acres. It's a quiet spot for the Treehouse community to gather and brewers to work. Rows of Adirondack chairs line the hillside across from the wooden brew house. On site, food trucks are on a continued rotating schedule like grilled cheese, hamburgers, and barbecue. Treehouse expanded the Charlton Building again, making the retail shop by 12,000 square feet in a 75,000 square foot warehouse expansion. 
Treehouse is a non-distributing brewery and is only available to buy online with a time slot and to be picked up at the brewery. This has made it very efficient and has ended the wait line altogether. And in 2019, they purchased a 1.6 million 94 acre farm in Woodstock, Connecticut, which is dubbed the Treehouse Orchard and Farm Fermentary. Just 10 miles from Charlton, Treehouse now owns and operates a working farm, with Eric Nelson leading the farm into the future. With over 60 acres of agricultural soil, things like apples, peaches, pears, and plums, and several other berries and flowers grow on site. The farm will be pressing fresh cider to be set aside for fermentation and for fresh unpasteurized consumption. A 1898 Boomer and Ball shirt manual apple press, one of the few of its kind and remaining in the world. In 2021, Treehouse opened two satellite locations, one in South Deerfield, now known for their pizza, of course, as well as their beer. Deerfield holds many events, including races, around the 50-acre property. In south of Boston and Cape Cod, the sandwich location slow to open with zoning laws. Letter to the Sandwich Conservation Commission, Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection and Mass Wildlife, alerting them that renovations to the building close to the sand dunes among other things, may violate the town's wetland bylaws and state's wetlands and endangered species laws. Neighbors worried about traffic in the small Cape Town. But Treehouse solved this problem with shuttling and making reservations to go inside for a draft. And in 2021, just north of Greater Boston, in my town of Tewksbury, Treehouse purchased the country club at a price of $30 million. A nine hole yard golf course with the intention of transforming the club and event spaces into a beer hall and retail store. Beer to go has opened and is very efficient. Rumors is sometimes in January draft pours will be ready. And Charlton has future plans by purchasing 45 acres next to their main facility at a price of $2 million. Going forward, Treehouse is trying to go off grid by 2023. They have a small system that recaptures CO2 from the brewery process. And now, Treehouse trivia. Number one, Nate's wife Lauren got him the homebrew kit on Christmas in the beginning that started his hobby obsession. Number two, Dean was a plumber before getting a shoulder injury leading him to dive headfirst in the home brewery hobby. Number three, they played around with names for the company like Red Barn Brewing and Four Guys Brewing. But thank God for the treehouse in the backyard. Number four, back in the Munson days, Treehouse had a rare collaboration with Lawson's Finest Liquids. Number five, as soon as you walk into the Charlton facility, you are greeted with a wooden timber structure, paying tribute to their first location in Brimfield, and etched in the floor is the layout of their first setup. In number six, the brewery racked up nearly 900,000 check-ins last year on Untapped, second only to the multinational brewery and pub chain, Brewdog, in Scotland in 2021. Number seven, Charlton is referred to as the juice machine. Number eight, Nate pays tribute to his dad in the craft beer, Old Man. Number nine, Nate's favorite beer outside of his own is Trappist Rochefort 8. And number 10, Treehouse has five of the top 25 beers in the US. Thanks for watching and cheers.